forecast whenever you may need it this evening. You can get it on the Eyewitness Weather app. Download it and put it on your cell phone. Our live coverage, team coverage, continues tonight. Andy Mahalshik is in Wilkes-Barre for us tonight. Andy, good afternoon. Well, good afternoon, Josh. We could tell you some winds and snow squalls already causing problems around the area today. Interstate 81 near Wilkes-Barre closed for about an hour today because of two jackknife tractor trailers. And we've all seen what snow squalls can do in the past. It could turn a clear, pretty much dry roadway into a dangerous, potentially deadly mess. Well, today, PennDOT went on the offensive trying to get ahead of potential problems. A heavy snow squall roared through downtown Wilkes-Barre Wednesday afternoon. When they occur on major highways, bad things can happen. Massive vehicle pileups like this one on I-81 North in Dorrance Township in 2016 and on I-81 North near McAdoo in 2017. You have the snow coming in in such an intense amount in such an isolated area so quickly. When that happens, many times cars will end up stopping or slowing down, and you need to be very, very cautious of that when you're going into one of these. PennDOT uses its message boards along major highways across the region to warn drivers. They also have their crews ready to go. One of the things that we have been doing all morning this morning is pre-positioning some of our trucks out on the interstate. We're doing that so that once our cameras are able to identify where some of these squalls are, we can get the trucks out right away and, and get those roads cleared. Those warnings caught the attention of truck drivers. Donald DeVore says he's had some very close calls. Just slow down and be aware of what's going on in the surroundings and, and just take it easy because you know, you don't know what's in front of you or beside you at the same time. Pete McLaren from upstate New York knows what to do if you find yourself in the middle of a snow squall. I just slow down. Uh, just take your foot off of the gas. Be prepared to put your foot on the brake, but don't, don't stop. Don't put your foot on the brake right away. Just slow the car down and just go with the flow. And Pete knows what he's talking about. So say Pendant State Police. They offer the same advice. Basically, if you're in a snow squall, a whiteout condition, don't suddenly hit the brakes because they say that can throw your vehicle into a dangerous tailspin. Let the vehicle slow itself down if possible. Reporting in Wilkes-Barre, Luzerne County, Andy Mohal, Chicago Witness News. Some good advice there, Andy. Thank you. And the snow squall threat remains in effect through tonight into tomorrow.